Hi, I'm Matt Jackson, Sexy Matt Jackson. I'm a third degree black belt in Judo. This is my son Lawson, also known as Law Dog. He's a third degree brown belt in Judo. So, this is Judo for Jiu Jitsu. In Judo, you're used to seeing the big bombs, the big opponents, which is what we always want to go for. But we have a lot of other techniques that really help because those are not always applicable in a Jiu Jitsu match. First one we're gonna work is called sticky foot. So when you come out and you're fighting a jujitsu ju player, a lot of times they're gonna be on their heels with a low center of uh, gravity because they're looking to get to the ground. Uh, so it's a lot of times really hard to get the big throw. So, but we don't need the big throw. So first thing a judo player always does is we gotta control the grips. I never wanna come out and just grab, this is called 50-50. He's got his grip that he likes, I got my grip that I like, and now we're actually fighting, okay? Why? Why do that? I want to get the grip that I like and get a grip that he does not like, okay? So this series we're going to work is going to be from a cross sleeve grip. So as we come out, I'm going to cross grip, palm down, grab the sleeve, pull him across. As I pull him across my body, I'm going to reach over and try to get his belt if I can. Cross sleeve, pull it across your body as I step in grab the belt, okay? So when you're fighting a jiu-jitsu guy, most likely, when he feels this and he's gonna feel threatened, he's gonna probably immediately pull guard, okay? And now you're right back in his guard and you're working, so there's no advantage there. So here's where the sticker comes in, sticky foot. The Japanese word is kosotogari. It's a variation of a traditional kosotogari. So the way it works, cross grip, pull him in. As I pull him in, I'm gonna reach over, I'm gonna grab his belt. As I do that, I'm gonna take this foot, I'm gonna hook it behind his heel and my knees in front, okay? So in essence, I'm not sweeping, I'm not hooking like a true kosotogari, all right? It's like I'm actually grabbing his ankle with my foot. It's here, here, okay? So I'm putting pressure on this side with my foot, pressure on this side with my knee, and I got him locked into place. So as I grip, simultaneously pull him across, I'm hooking, just like that. That way, if he does pull guard, you're right to side control and you have the advantage. So he's, in essence, throwing himself. You're winning that exchange by gripping and good foot placement. Now, if he decides to stand, right, you go here, Lock it in, if you're coming in, I'm hooking. So if he does stay on his feet, then we're gonna finish the throw. Okay, the way you finish the throw, you're hooked in here, right? I'm putting pressure down on his shoulder. I'm gonna pick his foot up with my leg, and I'm just gonna rotate my hips. My hips are gonna turn, and I'm gonna turn the steering wheel. Boom. I'm gonna throw him, and I'll be right in side control. Arms up, grab, across, right? Arms up, grab, across, thicker. I'm in, I'm locked. I lift it up, I'm down, I'm winning.